Here we have a chopping board full of aubergine, okay, that's been salted and getting the water out of that. There's a bottle of cider, just got home from work. About a 10 hour non-stop day. If you look down here at the aubergine, what you can see, oh, hello, what's this? It's the new GoPro Hero 5. So I'll be doing a full review of this later. I've only just picked this up from the shops. Um, so I did buy a Hero 4 because I had a Hero 3 Black, which was brilliant, except for a terrible battery life. The 4 wasn't different enough for me to buy. I, and this is what iPhone and a lot of manufacturers seem to do. Every six months or so, they bring out a new model and it's barely different from the one before. And I think the consumers are getting a bit fed up with it and they're not buying it. So this is the Hero 5 now, so I've skipped a model. It's a little bit like Windows. They seem to do one good form of Windows, a bad one, and a good one. Uh, this one looked worth buying. There's a few things I'm concerned about. It's got a touch-sensitive screen on the back, and if you're snorkeling, you don't need the housing. I think it's 10 meter waterproof uh, capacity it goes down to. So no good for scuba diving without a housing, but you can get a housing. But this uh, can snorkel without a housing, it's waterproof. But I don't know how the touch screen's going to work with that because I found with the housing with the three, with a, with a membrane back screen on the back, um, the water pressure was actually um, causing some of the functions to activate when you didn't want them to activate. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. That might be a big failure, a big flop. We shall see. This, opposed to the other models, has image stabilization, so that should be fantastic. And it's got voice control, which would be really handy as well, doing remote stuff. Um, so um, 12 megapixel camera and 4K video. I will open it up, tell you later what it's like, taking it to Iceland at the weekend, and we'll see what it's like, uh, snorkeling sulfur and the like. Uh, it comes with a mounting frame, uh, a, a mounting buckle, curved surface adhesive and a flat so it's ready to go if you want to stick it on your mo on your bicycle helmet your motorbike helmet that kind of thing um that's what you get do you have to buy a memory card don't know what the battery life's going to be like we will tell you about that later uh keep tuned if you want to see further reviews of it thanks for watching